Hello everyone, welcome to part 14 of my video series featuring Build the Millennium Falcon by Diogostini. In this episode we are going to have a look at issues 25 and 26. I have the parts in these bags right here. And of course I also have the magazines right here. But as usual we are not going to have a look at those really. We are going to focus on the parts instead. But before we do that I'm going to put them away because there's something I want to show you. Um, now, this thing here is one of the binders that you get for the magazines. So it contains some of the magazines that you get over the course of the build. It can contain 20 and I decided to go ahead and install the first 20 issues in this binder here. I was very curious as to how they would fit in, how they were supposed to be installed and everything. So I was kind of looking forward to doing this because I, I still have like a stack of magazines lying around at this time. So right here I have issue, 20, uh, issue 1 to issue 20 inside this binder here. And, and the installation was actually very easy. And as you can see, it's very easy to just go through all of them now. They're easy to read when doing, the, doing it like this. So that's very awesome, I think. Um, and the gutter here, well, it's they can open up pretty nicely, I would say. So there's not really any gutter loss here in the middle between the pages. Um, but you're probably curious as to how I installed these um, magazines. So I'm going to show you. This is one of my other binders. I think I have only two at this time. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, we have these two screws here that you can actually just cut off uh, here, down here, where they meet the, the thing here. And as you can also see, they each has these small ribs here and they are supposed to come off. You're supposed to cut them off. Um, so yeah, I actually saved my bits from before. As you can see here, this is one of them where I removed all these small ribs here. Um, I just used a knife. You can use a sprue cutter also. Um, but I used a knife because then I didn't have so much... Um, well, it, it was easier to just do a clean cut really because it's very small space between the sprue and then the bits that you actually need. So once you do that, um, you have all these small um, ribs here, uh, in well, separately. And then you simply... Well, I can actually just show you here. Uh, then you take one of these small ribs here and insert from either the top or the bottom into some small holes that are filling out this thing here and then they pop out on the other side and you just open up your magazines to the middle where the the, cl the clams are and then you just make sure that this thing is between there so that's basically all it takes um, again if i take the one that i did and I go to one of them, well, just any issue really. And then I page to the middle of it, which is here. Then you can see those small ribs on the top and on the bottom here, um, fixating the issue in between here. So that's pretty cool. So, and they sit very tightly now and everything is awesome. And um, it's a great way to kind of collect your magazines once you're done with them. Um, because they can be quite annoying to have lying around really. Anyways, um, that was just some little thing that I wanted to show you. Now let's get, get back to um, issue 25 that I have right here. I'll pop open the back and we'll have a look at the parts that are inside. So just hang on. All right, guys, so here are all the parts from issue 25. And as you can see, it's quite a mixed bag of things here and you get a, quite a bit of smaller pieces as well. But one of the bigger pieces is this one over here. This is part of the assembly jig, uh, the framework or the support stand for the, the Millennium Falcon as you are assembling it. And I really think it's a nice thing that Diogostini is adding this to the build, kind of giving thought and acknowledgement to the whole process that people will be going through and then providing this support stand that will help people uh, assemble the piece. Um, it of course also comes with these two small soft pads that are supposed to go into these holes here 
and these will be the touching points, I guess, uh, where the Falcon will actually be in physical contact with the assembly jig. So that's nice. Um, I have a lot of these soft pads already. I have them in, in my little box of uh, cool stuff over here. I'm just gonna put it there and then I'm gonna get rid of the piece here because it's not that interesting to look at really. Um, then you get part of the hull here uh, for the bottom side of the falcon. Um, this area here seems like it's going to be covered up by something but I don't really know what it will be yet. Um, so that's kind of interesting. On the other side we have two rather long pegs sticking out also and I haven't seen that on any of the other hull parts so far. So that's kind of interesting as well. I don't really know what the point of that is. Uh, but there are two holes here so it will be fixated into something I guess. Um, putting that aside, oh, just a mention of the weathering by the way. The weathering is decent. You have some shading going around all the details here. But again I'll probably be repainting all that eventually. Then you get a bag here containing two sprues and the sprues are containing these cushion pads for the interior of the Millennium Falcon. We've seen this a lot of times by now so I won't put I won't uh, talk too much about that. Um, I think those uh, cushion pads by the way are going to be placed onto these uh, walls here that uh, make up for the gun turret access so on the interior of the Millennium Falcon of this build there's going to be an access way to the gun turrets and along these lines here, I don't know how well you can tell, but there are these kind of lines following uh, a horizontal thing here on the walls here. Um, that's where the cushion pads will be kind of added onto. So I think that's basically the point here. Um, then you also get part of the framework. This is a relatively big piece. This is for the bottom framework. But I guess it will still be a couple of issues before we get or accumulate enough framework parts that we are actually going to expand on it at, uh, further. Uh, by the end of this video, by the way, I'm going to show you my uh, progress on the framework. Uh, I showed you that last time, but I just want to show you it again um, in this video. Um, we get a small bag here containing a little sprue that has three small um, plugs in it. I don't really know what these are. Uh, I did check the instructions and I'm gonna show you that in a minute so you get an idea what these are for. There are two of them and then an additional one, like a spare one. So you actually get three identical small pieces in this sprue here. Uh, and finally, two bags, one containing the black screws and one containing some brass screws. There are only three black screws this time and that kinda seems like an odd number. Uh, I bet there'll be lots and lots of more of these in the future. Um, but that's basically it, guys. And if we do grab the instructions just to wrap up issue 25 and we go to this page here. Yeah, here you can see those plastic parts that make up for the gun turret access. These parts here and how they are taking these two sprues and adding the cushion pads to the interior wall here. So that's basically it. And on the opposite side here, we have the main hold. And it would seem like they're actually removing some screws from the interior walls here and then adding in those small things, the pegs or whatever, from this sprue here and inserting them into the holes instead and adding some glue. And I'm not really sure why this is. Maybe it's just in order to kind of make a more flush uh, ex uh, exterior of the wall here. Uh, the surface of it. I'm not really sure, but I guess that could basically be the point of it. Um, in any case, guys, that's basically all that I had to say about issue 25. And next up is issue 26. And I'll just grab the bag, take out all the parts, and we'll have a look at those as well. So just give me one second. Okay, so here are all the parts from issue 26. And once again, we get another piece for the assembly jig and two more of those soft pads for it. I'm gonna put those over here and then I'm gonna get rid of this. And then, well, yet another piece of the hull here. Again, it seems like this section here will be covered by something else, which is very interesting, but I don't know at this time what that might be, but it looks pretty cool. 
um, it would ah if I turn it like this, I bet that this is actually where the uh, the passageway for the cockpit will be, kind of leading out from the uh, main dish of the Millennium Falcon. It would seem like that, um, but yeah, we'll know for sure in the future. The weathering is as it usually is. Um, then we get part of the framework again and also one of those um, support ribs that you've seen me attach previously. Then we get three parts of the interior here. This is a floor for the, uh, well, that's kind of a lead out uh, from the main hold leading into the, well, other parts of the Millennium Falcon that you won't be able to see. So this is kind of just like a, a fake exit for the main hold. These two pieces are, um, what are they called? This is access floor and access ceiling. So I bet these parts will be kind of, this part will be on top of the other one. Um, but I'm not really sure what it's for. Maybe it's for the gun turret access or something like that. Um, and then finally we get two more bags, silver screws and black screws. And there's quite a bunch of those. Um, so that's basically it. It's very simple what you get both with issue 25 and issue 26 really this time around. Um, so I'm just going to grab the instructions and show you what they say. Well, this is the overview of all the parts that we got. Um, here you can actually see that they're taking the wall bits that we got in issue 25 with the, uh, the cushion pads attached and everything. And it seems like they're actually creating this kind of little enclosure here so yeah they are basically assembling the walls the ceiling and the floor and i guess this is actually the access to the gun turret i suppose so that's pretty cool um yeah and that's basically everything guys um it was a pretty simple uh well this the content was pretty simple this time around not much to it really so I'm just going to reach over here for the framework that I have so far. And I hope you can actually see this now. Because um, what I did, I, I did say that I didn't want to kind of do a test fitting of all the pole parts. But I did add this one piece here to the uh, protruding area of the main dish. Just to get a sense of the size and what it would look like. And it looks really cool, I think. Um, I haven't attached it with more than those pegs that are kind of sticking out from the plastic bit and there are some holes in the framework that they fit into but later on you'll actually add some screws to those and that that are those uh, that's going to be those silver screws like that i have right here that are going to kind of fixate the hole to the framework but as you can see it's it's getting along quite nicely um, we are still getting more pieces of the bottom framework it seems like we are getting a little bit uh, with each and every issue at the moment So it won't be too long before we're actually going to add on to this part here so um, I think that basically covers everything guys. I had to say about 25 and 26 um, It's coming coming along nicely and I feel that I'm progressing pretty good right now I know that I'm way way behind many of you guys already uh, who's completed the entire bottom frame and added on the hull parts and actually also adding on to the top frame and the top hull parts but yeah i'm trying to catch up guys so i'm just doing this in uh, in my own speed here in any case guys i hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did please leave me a like and uh, if you have any questions or comments of course leave them in the section below and also do remember to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in in seeing more of these kinds of videos and other stuff that I post. Thanks a lot for watching guys um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.